Suppose there exists a tank on board a ship which is partially filled with some liquid. As the vessel heals, the liquid will move across the tank in the same direction as the heel. We can see the transfer of a wedge of liquid across the tank like this. Notice the shift of the center of gravity of the wedge. G to G1. Such a shift in the center of gravity of the wedge will cause the movement of center of gravity of the ship from G to G1. The shift in center of gravity also means a reduction in the riding lever as shown. The new riding lever is now G1Z. Let us recall that the riding lever is the perpendicular distance between the lines of action of the buoyant force as well as the weight. It doesn't matter where this distance is measured. The vertical through G1 intersects the center line at G2, and G2Z can also be considered as the riding lever. A close analysis will show that G2Z is G2M sine theta. Recall that initially, that is, at small angles of heel, the stability of a ship is usually measured in terms of the metacentric height. Here it means that, the effect of a free surface of liquid is to raise the center of gravity from G to G2, thus reducing the metacentric height of the vessel. GG2 is termed as the virtual reduction in the metacentric height due to free surface, or, more commonly, the free surface effect. <laughs>